but League of Legends is currently getting a lot of big changes on PvE, especially for junglers. Junglers are definitely not gonna be happy about it, because almost all their changes are straight up nerfs. But I guess that's life of a jungler. Doran's items are also being adjusted, dragons are also getting a lot of changes, and even turrets get really important change, and there are also support item changes, and of course on top of that some big rune changes. I guess all of those changes are an early preparation for the preseason. We're gonna go with the changes one by one, I'm gonna start with turrets, items and runes, and support items, and we'll do jungler and dragon changes later, as they are the biggest by a mile. Let's start with the turret change, because it is huge for everyone. Wow! Turret plates no longer grant 175 gold, they give you 125 gold 125 instead. Euros por placa. This is a pretty big change, it's a total of 250 gold per turret less to be claimed. Champions that are good at early pushing will definitely be impacted here. As for Doran item changes, you can only buy one Pero Doran. Pero que eso es por placa, o sea, ¿y cuántas placas tiene? Tiene cinco placas, entonces son 250 de oro menos en total. Item now. All of them have been slightly buffed, roughly by 20%. Dark Seal HP also got increased from 40 to 50. If your champion Ufa, has a particularly iniciales. rough early game, you cannot really help yourself by stacking Dorans anymore. Now let's go quickly over the support item changes. As you can see, all of them got their HP increased by 50. Servidor de prueba. Spell Thief and Rally got HP increased by 2, while Sickle and Shoulder Guard got their AD increased by 1. So pretty much all of these are straight up buffs. Support mejorado. Not crazy, but significant, I would say. As for runes, Arcane Comet, Electrocute, Dark Harvest, Summon Airy, Fleet Footwork, and Taste of Blood are getting changed. Pretty much for all of those runes, the base value gets increased at the later levels, but the scaling decreases. So if you don't build any AP or AD, this will be a slight buff, but if you have a lot of AP or bonus AD, this will be a nerf, and a fairly significant one. Press the attack is also getting a similar change, its damage is increased, but the amplification is reduced and will be 8% flat. First strike is also getting bonus damage reduced from 9 to 8%. So overall the runes are getting a slight nerf. Water walking is also getting changed. Its movement speed is reduced from 25 oh, to 10. Nerf. So a pretty big change. The adaptive bonus of water walking will be decently increased in early game. So it might be a pretty good rune for early skirmishes. But people are already calling it water crawling and I think it's hilarious. Now let's go to the first change with jungle which is that Smite can no longer be cast on minions or pets. Es it mierda. already did negligible damage to pets, o but sea, now you cannot even target them anymore. O sea, en resumen, el cambio es que no puedas gastar el Smite en un minion, que no puedas gastar el Smite directamente, o sea, que ni siquiera puedas apuntar a un minion o apuntar a, al oso de Annie o a, eh, a, no sé, a la Daisy de, de Ivern, las mascotas, básicamente, ¿no? Ya de por sí le habían quitado el damage a las mascotas con el Smite, pero ahora directamente, bueno, por lo menos eso es lo que está en el PvE. Which is probably for the better. So o sea, es un embole porque, ponele, hay muchos combos que se pueden hacer tirando el Smite primero y una Q de Lee Sin después, ¿me entendés? Don't accidentally. Estás quitando una mecánica del juego, básicamente. Smite them. ¿No podés smitear las cajas de Shaco tampoco? Here is me trying to smite Annie's Tibbers, and here in this clip Lee tried really hard to smite my Shaco boxes, but it's not possible anymore. You can no longer smite minions as well, so no more cannon tags, Mr. Dumps, and no more cannon tags for any of you, at least not with smite. Champion smite damage was also changed. It used to scale from 20 to 160 with levels, so by the time you could smite champions, you would easily deal 50 or more damage to them, but now that damage will be 40, regardless of your level. So at level 18, instead of dealing 160 damage with smite, you will deal 40. Ah. So when it comes to smiting champions, it's just a pure nerf. Unless you guys can somehow get your tier 2 smite at level 3, then you will get an extra free damage. Just need to evolve your smite before level 4 to get the benefit of that. Now the AoE damage increased from 50 to 100%. This sounds like a pretty good buff, huh? Well, the only issue is it's close to absolutely useless. You need tier 3 smite to even get the benefit of that extra AoE damage. 
I think Riot not changing that would be less of a spit in Dragalur's faces. What's more, you no longer get extra damage reduction against epic monsters. You used to get 20... percent damage reduction versus epic monsters if you had two allied champions nearby. Well, this is getting removed. Ah. Most Tomper, which is the green pet, no longer grants you tenacity and slow resist. Ah. So this is pretty big change. Gustwalker, the blue pet, got the brush movement speed reduced from 45 to 30 percent and the monster kill movement speed reduced from 60 to 45 percent. And the Scorch Claw, which is the red. Básicamente está diciendo, si no alcanzaba a leer los subtítulos, que el verde ya no va a dar tenacidad, que el azul va a dar menos velocidad de movimiento y que el daño del rojo va a ser menos. But, well, its damage now has to be triggered from an attack or ability instead of any source of damage. Y encima ahora el rojo solo anda con habilidades, sino cualquier tipo de daño. So you cannot sneeze at your enemies to proc your Scorch Claw damage anymore. Now let's go to the dragon changes. Pretty much for all of them, there are nerfs to individual dragons, but buffs to souls. A ver, cambios de AP a D del Infernal, del 5% al 3%. Infernal Soul, ba da soul Base Damage, o se ha incrementado el daño base de, de la Soul de 80 a 100 para compensar. La regeneración del de Océano de 2,5 a 2%, nerfeo Océano. Y la regeneración base del alma de océano, 130 a 150, para compensar, pero no siempre te va a salir el alma de océano. De maná de, también, de 80 a 100. Getting one infernal or mountain dragon will be way less valuable now. Getting Perdón, one infer y encima, el dragón de las nubes, resistencia al slow, velocidad de movimiento, reducida de 7% a 4%. O sea, si ya de por sí el de las nubes era una mierda, ahora va a ser peor. La resistencia de, el de montaña 8% a 5% y el attack speed y la aceleración de habilidades del dragón Hextech reducidos de 7,5 a 5. O sea, nerfeo a todos los dragones, básicamente. Dragon will be way less valuable now. Infernal AP AD is reduced from 5 to 3%. Mana and speed 3%. Soul base shield and attack speed is 40-30% to 45-35%. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, a lot of the changes. O sea, nerfeo a la jungla, básicamente, ¿no? Evidentemente, yo lo que pienso es que quieren que la jungla sea un rol mucho más débil y menos relevante el año que viene. Porque hoy por hoy, uno de los roles más es no valiables y, car y que carrean del game y con más impacto del juego. Te diría que el rol con más impacto del juego del juego. Voy a rebutarse, ¿no? Pero... ¿Qué es eso? No sé. Parece un nerfeo medio bestia, en mi opinión.